lately our VBoost has stopped working and today I want to find out what's wrong with it and how we can fix it. We love staying in these remote places and we love staying connected with our communities. The reception is less than one bar and if we turn the booster on it's still less than one bar, no change whatsoever. In fact, it looked worse. <laughs> I did research on how you would fix it and came across a replacement antenna, but then I wanted to check if the plug fits and that's what I found. This is the male plug of the antenna and this is the female plug of the cable going to the booster. You see here is a little hole and here should be a nipple that goes into the hole when you connect it. But it looks like that nipple has retracted. Over time we pulled on this little cable and the pin retracted into this coax cable. You mean as you pull on the sleeve of the hot dog and you bite into it, you only bite into bun instead of hot dog. What I'm gonna try here is add a little piece of wire into that hole so it hopefully connects with that retracted nipple and we see if we can fix our problem with that. All right, let's see what that does. Oh, oh yeah. It didn't fix it by much. So it is an improvement, but it's still not fixed. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> so that doesn't help us much. This one should probably not move up and down. So this inner wire retracted. So this whole wire can move back and forth. And that's why it like pulled out this inner core of the wire. That's just bad design. How many of your day-to-day -day problems would you say stem from bad designs? Look at this box. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of having a connector between the antenna and the cable that goes to the booster, I'm just gonna snip the cable here and then try to solder it directly to the antenna. Disconnected the first part, now I have to disconnect the base. Alright, it doesn't look pretty, but I've essentially soldered the core of the wire onto the antenna and the shield just squeezed it in here because with my soldering iron there's no way I can solder it. But yeah, let's put it all together and see how it does now. Man, okay, look at that back in here, get the screws in, and then we'll do a test run. You're sitting at 100, minus 128. And let's turn on the booster. Minus 75. Wow. That's pretty crazy. From 128 to 75, what's the difference there? Let's say from 125 to 75, that's like 50 dB better. It is absolutely full bars. Nope. And look at all these other transponders we are currently receiving now too. Oh, it even, okay, it jumped over to HSDPA, which is even better connection, that's why it jumped over. Look, we got so many comments from YouTube. Merry Christmas from Atlanta, Michael Higgins. <laughs> All right, I'm getting message overload. I think we should turn it back off and go outside. <laughs>
All right, I really hope this helps you out. And if it did, leave us a thumbs up. Otherwise, we see you on the road to pitches. Goodbye.